Okay, this is uh, part three of the boat bobbing on the wave tutorial. So in this tutorial, I've upgraded the boat a little bit. Now, things like this should be obvious to you how I'm doing this now. Whereas I kind of flattened the deck a little bit, made the boat its own separate color. I made a new material in edit mode and had to assign it. Added this kind of flagpole extension to the pole and then added a flag to the mast here. So now, um, if you think about the way the ocean and the winds work well even though well let me bring this display piece back up here so you see we still have that wind there and this wind here blowing across the surface to make this thing work but I've slowed the winds down that way it makes the wave intensity not so great and the frequency of the wave isn't so high so the boats not bobbing as rapidly well in the ocean that's how it is sometimes sometimes these waves come from hundreds of thousands of miles away hundreds or thousands that was and um, a, but a local wind might be blowing in a different direction so the swells might be coming from one direction but maybe you have an offshore wind you know that that night and your flags blowing in the other direction so what you have to do is you have to make sure that you're when I built the flag I put it on its own layer so if I go select the flag you can see it's up here on layer 5 and then I have it on its own wind it cranked up to offset I'll show you what happens if you don't have a really strong wind what will happen is the bobbing effect of the wind way up high will take the flag and it will want to rotate it all the way around in fact I could just move this wind to layer 6 just for a second and let's see what happens when it comes back around alright so it's not on there but watch what happens when the just the bobbing of the boat gives the appearance of the flag moving even though it's not and if I was to crank up one of these winds way up like this you're going to see it just flips it all the way around like that in the wind. All right, so to counteract that, so I have this sitting down here like this, and I'm going to move this wind back to layer 5 because that's where the flag layer is located. So now I'll go get that. Oh, did I move it? I swear I moved it. No, I didn't. Uh-oh, I must have moved something to layer 5. All right, there's on layer 5. What's on layer 5 now? Flag's still on layer 5. Okay, so they're both on layer 5. And now let's come over to here. And so now it, imagine if we did have an offshore wind. Say this was the coastline over here. So then I could take my wind and just turn it around 180 degrees. I'll just move it out of the way like this. And now even though my swell for these guys is showing up from over here, my flag is still blowing from the other direction. Now actually I'd have to change that a little bit because I have it pinned over on the right hand side there. So I'd have to fix that so it would actually swing around the pole which I don't have right now I just have it so it was blowing the other direction but I'll leave that as an exercise for you guys to fix how you might think about how you would swing that around at the same time alright so every little tidbit so really what matters is that uh, you can put different uh, pieces on different layers and have the wind affect them independently crank it up it's still a lot more fun when you have a strong wind <laughs> oh did I oh no he's on layer one but I should be cranking that up this guy should be cranked up too let's see okay there we go and there it is the whole thing in action all right we'll try that see uh, see what kind of effects you get and that's it for this lesson